All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem El Shai, Wabachakwadash, with Yahweh, that's Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach all the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today I want to do a uh, skillful adding to this video that the elder Yashawamba uh, made. And it's entitled, Various Topics, Disdain for Natural Order is Mental Sickness. Okay, And in this video, he's basically doing a spiritual you know, outlook on this video that he saw. Which is uh, entitled, Black Feminist with Five Kids Defends Abortion Against Jason Black. And this uh, Jason Black character, from what I, um, you know, from what I was getting, is you know a podcaster. He's a so-called black man, you know, a Judite, and you know he's one of those. Um, I guess you could say, you know, like a uh, one of those guys who are into the MGTOW movement slash you know Red Pill move movement. Okay, and you know he's basically talking to this so-called black woman, and it really shows you. How messed up, you know, our people are, okay? And in particular, you know, the black woman. But I'll say this, you know, all Israelite women, they're all messed up, okay? But it starts off with the so-called black woman, all right? The Judite woman on down, okay? A, a you know, so-called black Latino Native American woman. They're, they're, they, they are real messed up in their minds right now. And that's because... You know, they've eaten the fruit of lies as it speaks about in the book of Hosea. Okay? Hey, that that apple, okay, alright. In um in the book of uh, uh, Genesis, alright? That fruit in the in the book of Genesis that they you know uh, uh that the serpent you know told Eve to take, because you gotta remember that all this right here, this all goes back all right to the garden, alright, in the book of Genesis. You see, this all goes back uh, uh, to that time period. And now that pact, all right, that was made between, you know, the uh, the serpent and Eve is playing out right now. Okay, it's playing out right now. And um, with that being said, you know, this kingdom doesn't produce, you know, life, all right, which we always talk about here in a... Uh, in GMS Chicago, in particular, the camp that I'm in with the uh, Elder Yakia, all right? We always mention that, how this place produces a death style rather than a lifestyle, a true lifestyle, okay? You know? And it's evident. It's evident. You know, when you when you listen to this uh, video, I know it's a little bit long, but when you watch this video, hey, the Elder Yashawamba highlights that, how it's crazy how our women... You know, they sit there and glorify death, okay? Glorify killing their children, they glorify murder, okay? They're fighting the natural order. They don't want to be, you know, uh, uh, wives. They, they, they don't want to be women, okay? They don't want to be mothers. You know, they're, they're all into this world, man. Which this world teaches them that, it, it, you know, it's okay to be above the man. In particular, the Israelite man. All right, it's okay to go sleep with you know all these men out here, women too, animals too, because you know our women are all into that you know that madness. Okay, it's okay to um you know be above. All right, you know the men around you. You know it. it you know, you're you're powerful, you're strong, you're independent. Like how it says here, women are powerful and dangerous. You know, this is what they're pushing. You see, in our kingdom, though, we're going to have order and we're going to have unification. There's going to be no more fighting between, you know, a, a man and his wife. Okay, and I'm talking about the Israelite man and the Israelite woman. There's going to be no more fighting. Okay, we're all going to know our roles. All right, the man's going to be the head. He's going to be the provider. Okay. The man's going to take care of his family. Hey, the woman's going to be in subjection. She's going to, um, 
love her husband. And I'll say this too. The man's going to love his family. Okay? The woman's going to love her man, her, her children. Okay? They, she's going to um teach the children, be that, that, that you know, that nurturing mother. Okay? And, and, and people, hey, hey, our people are going to be very happy. And the reason why is because they're going to uh follow the order that was uh, originally put into place, man. Okay? See, right now, our people, you know, they've... uh. They basically eaten those fruit of lies, and now they're all messed up. They're all messed up because they're following the serpent's way, which the serpent's way is unnatural. It's not normal. It's off. Okay, it's off. You see, but then, hey, but 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 uh, um, very soon, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna get this world in order. Okay, and Yahweh is gonna send his son Yahweh Shai. And he he's gonna clean this world up, man. All right. You see, and this th this is not gonna happen in the kingdom, man. And I'm looking forward to that personally. I'm sure you brothers are too. All right. I'm tired of uh, having to deal with you know the woman. Okay. You know, one minute she's on point, the next minute it's an argument, it's a fight. Okay. I I'm, I'm tired of you know. Of. Uh, I'll say even this too, eh? I'm tired of. Yeah, not dealing with the virgin, okay? You know, I'm tired of uh, of uh, even just dealing with these women in this world. You know, you got to go to the store. You got to go deal with the customer or whatever. And you got these women that are out of pocket, out of order with how they talk to you. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. And I'm, I'm sure you brothers are too, man. And look, very soon the Lord's going to, you know, he's going to stop this. Look, these, and the reason why this is all happening to us is because we're under curses right now. You know, we're under these curses and we, we got to deal with it. But, hey, these curses are going to get lifted up very soon. The Lord's going to have mercy. And he's going to, you know, f you know, forget about our uh, our wickedness, so to speak. All right. Our, our iniquities. He's going to cast it into that sea as it's uh, as it speaks about, you know. All right. He's going to forgive us and he's going to, um, you know, put us on top very soon. All right. But um, let's get um. Man, I don't even know where to start, man. <laughs> but um let's get this. You know what? We'll go um We'll start off uh we'll get this um what is it? The author of confusion. The Lord's not the author of confusion. Okay? Let's get that first. This is um Where is this at? Uh right here. This is uh 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. It says for the Most High, Yahweh, is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. So, point being is, the Lord is not the author of confusion. And you see, this world, it pushes nothing but confusion. Especially here in America, which is known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great. Okay? Which Babylon, okay, in the Hebrew is Babal, which means confusion. That's why this... Um, it's also known in the scriptures as the city of confusion. All right? You see, when we get into the kingdom, everything is going to be done decently and in order. It's going to be on point. Okay? It's going to be on point. All right? And let's get that. This is 1 Corinthians uh, 14 and 40 it says let all things be done decently and in order okay and this is gonna uh, be established in the kingdom of heaven you see right now you know we got to deal with this because you know we're we're in punishment we're in time out so to speak all right the heavenly father was mad so this is what he did to us okay all right he he set up the women against us and let's get that and not only against us also our children hey eh? the woman hates the children like, like I said why you when you watch this video it just shows you how bugged out our women are. So a single mother, you know, just upset because her choices aren't, you know, you know, her choices were poor. You know, she 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 didn't have good decision making. She's mad at the world. I right, she's upset that that lie that Esau told her and that she you know fell for, isn't you know as um. You know, it's it's not making her as happy as she thought it would, okay? But she still keeps going down the rabbit hole thinking that something's going to change and make her, you know, 
you know, you know, joyful. And it's not, man. Okay? It's not. If you don't follow the ways of the Lord, man, yeah, you, you, you're just going to live a life of misery. You know, look at, I mean, seriously, look at the modern day woman. The modern day woman is miserable as all hell. And I deal, I, I mean, my, 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 uh, my jobs that I've had and that I have now, I'm constantly dealing with, you know, the various customers, all right, clients. And, uh, and a lot of clientele that I've had throughout the years have been women. And they are depressed, man. And they and I'm talking about I've had client uh clientele where they've had money. I'm talking about single women that've had money living in, you know, these top tier condos and you know, private, you know, what is it, gated communities, okay? And they are depressed, mad. You know? You know, just, just, you know, full of sorrows. Okay? This is not the way. This, this, this way is not the way. Okay? But hey, these women, they, 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 they like it because they could, you know, sin and not get judged. Okay? They don't have to be um, held accountable for their actions. They can get away with things. They can please their flesh. Okay? That's why they love this place. Even though they're still upset and they're still miserable this place pleases their flesh so they're basically like a, a junkie a junkie knows these things are bad for them right they know that the drugs are bad and it's killing them but it gives them that quick fix though right there right on the spot you know so that's why they keep doing it see and um let's get this because uh look this, this this is a curse that the, uh, the heavenly father put on us but this curse will be removed very soon this is deuteronomy 28 in um, 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. And I'll say this, you know, we, we get on the men too, man. We have a lot of scumbags in our nation. We have a lot of our men who are little boys that want to, you know, just, you know, basically pump and dump everything in sight, so to speak. Don't care about the kids. Don't care about the woman. All right. They want to, you know, uh, you know, kill their brother, steal from their brother, okay, and just be little demons, man. Look, look, look at all these little gremlins out here, you know. All right, look at them all. That's why the Lord's going to destroy a, a lot of our people, man. But see, these things aren't going to happen in the kingdom. All right, but let's keep reading, so that He will not give any of them of the flesh of His children whom He shall eat. Because he have nothing left, left him in the siege, and in the straightness where with thy enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. And this is going into when um, this is, this has happened where our men literally have eaten their children because of famines and in, in, in them being besieged, which is going to happen again when all hell breaks loose. When there's no food out here, people are going to perform cannibal, uh, cannibalism again. All right, but let's keep reading. Verse fifty six. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not venture to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil towards her husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. Okay? You see? Our women hate us, man. They hate their children. That's why they're, they're constantly fighting us. And our women are, you know, they, they'll plot and scheme on how to destroy their men, which is insane. That's literally insane insanity. You're with somebody, right? And the whole time you're with them, you're trying to, you know, uh, find a way to make him fall. That is nuts, man. Okay. That is that's why they, the the uh, what did it say? Disdain, which means hatred for natural order is mental sickness. Our people are mentally sick, man. The fact that that our women want to actually. See us fall is crazy. See, she should be helping bu to, to build the house, man. Okay? Because by her helping building the house, her being the helpmate, that means she'll be in a better case. She'll be protected. But see, our women, they don't want protection from us. They want protection from the serpent. Okay? They want protection from the serpent. Alright? 
and then and they're, and they're they're happy, okay, with the fact that they 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 have pro choice, okay. My body, my choice. That's crazy. They want to kill our uh, the, the 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 nation, man. The worst place for an Israelite to be in right now is a black or Hispanic woman, okay. All right. Especially the black woman, man. Our nation, man, that's the worst place to be. You see? Our women are, 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 are out of their damn minds, man. The Lord's going to, you know, deal with them soon. Okay? The Lord's going to deal with them. Alright, but let's get this, because um, this is the spirit that our women are in right now. This is uh, Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. And see, the majority of our women... Okay, are that foolish uh, 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 woman that's plucking down the house. They're helping another nation bring down their own nation. You know, that's crazy. But see, in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have that anymore. We're not going to have a foolish wo woman. We're going to have a wise woman that's going to help build our house. Okay, like I said, she's going to help take care of the, the children. She, she's going to uh, nurture them. She's going to be, as the elder Yashwamba mentioned, that's going to be uh, the children's first teacher, is the woman, okay? Hey, they're they're, they're going to uh, support the man. They're, they're, they're going to, uh, you know, uh, uplift the, the man, which is going to make the, the man produce even more and be better, you know? And in, in return, what's going to happen is they're going to be able to reap all the things that the man has sown, okay? You see, the, the our women are going to do great in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to have the finest um, clothing, the finest, you know, jewelry. They're going to have servants, handsmaids, okay? They're, they're going to have, the, you know, they're going to be eating the best foods. They're going to have, you know, the best, you know, perfumes and oils, okay? Our women are going to do really good in the kingdom. Unlike now, well, well, what does Esau give them? What, a, a goddamn uh, a, a job? Okay? Makes them a, a movie star? Okay, and if, well, if you're not that, then, whoa, what, he helps you get, you know, uh, divorce your husband? Put him on child support? Or what, gives you a, a fuck, you know, gives you an EBT card? Gives you Section 8? That, 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 that's, that's what you, you're, you know, that, that you're happy about? Things like that? That's crazy. And like I said, I, I've, I've dealt with... I, I deal with these women all, all the time, man. Like I said, with this, you know, my last uh, uh, job in this job that I have currently, I'm dealing with all sorts of uh, um, clientele. From uh, rich uh, Israelite women, so to speak, to, to poor Israelite women. Okay? And what I noticed, alright, is the ones that are... Rebel, you know, most rebellious, the ones that don't want to, you know, take, you know, uh, take heed to, you know, what's being said. That the, hey, the ones that want to, um, you know, live their best life, okay. The ones that are, you know, that are quote unquote independent, they're the most depressed, man. They are the most depressed. Like I said, man, I've I've been in these top tier. Penthouses, condos, the uh, gated communities, homes, whatever, man. Oh, those, those are the those are the ones who are most depressed, man. But then they try to you know cover it up by buying things and, and saying that oh I'm okay I have this that and the third. You're through, man. And then when when this when this uh when all hell breaks loose, okay. When all hell breaks loose, you're gonna have no protection, man. You're going to have no protection. And you're going to be out here t t just looking real bad. And a lot of terrible things are going to happen to you. You know? Our women are, are going to be in a terrible case, man. You know? That's why, you know what? Let's get it. Because I mentioned it. Let's get that first Timothy. Because our, our, our women are living in pleasure right now. And she's already dead. She's through. Like I said, well, watch this video, man. You listen to this woman, right? She's got liberty. She's living her quote-unquote best life. She's unhappy. She's mad. Okay. She's mad at you know her, her, her you know her, her, her you know her her man. Okay, or her, her, her former man. 
He's upset with this, you know, a uh, podcast, you know, host. She's getting checked left and right. She's just through, man. But her, her, her pride won't let her, her humble down and get in order. She'd rather be, you know, out there, you know, just, you know, completely just gone, man, than just humble down. Our women are so just, just gone, man. And, and you know, I'm just looking forward to the kingdom of heaven. Because we're not going to deal with this. You know? This is uh, 1 Timothy 5 and 6. And it says here, But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Okay, they're already through, man. You know, the ones, like I said, uh, uh, quote unquote, as they say out here, what, living their best life? They're already done. Like I said, I've, I've, I've dealt with so many of them. You know? And I'm sure you brothers have too, man. You know, you see him at the, you know, at the club, and you see her. You you may see him in your your complex, okay. See him at the restaurants. They're done. Like I was telling the one brother from Cleveland. Hey, you know, you got the women in their twenties saying they don't need a man. This, that, and the third. And then when they're in their thirties, right, they're trying to go to a singles, you know, a a a, a singles brunch meetup, right. Or you know, a brunch meet. And no man is there. It's just them. 10, 50, 20 tables of just women trying to meet a man and no man is coming. You're through. You're done. You you, you want to get right when, when you get older? And then that's when they, they get, re, you know, real bitter then. And they act like a woman like this. I just hate the man. I, I'm oppressed. I'm this and that. No, you have your freedom. As the uh, Yashawamba was saying in this video, you have freedom right now, and you're still unhappy. You have the liberty to get abroad. You have all these liberties right now, and you're still mad. Look, it's not us. You know who it is? It's first and foremost you, okay? Because yeah, you 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 uh, uh you ate that, that that fruit of lies, okay? And then it's the serpent's fall, which is Esau Edom, which that's today's uh, what this world will call so-called white man. Hey, this is this is his design, man. Don't be mad at us. Be mad at, at yourself and, and be mad at him. Okay? Alright. Let's get uh let's get a couple scriptures, alright? Let's get uh Sirach 25. Let's get that. Just had a few scriptures written down. We'll see what, where the spirit takes us to. Where's right, Sirach 25? What do we got? 25 and 1 here. Alright, this is Sirach chapter 25 and 1. It says in three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful, both before man, before the Most High and men. The unity of brethren. So this is a beautiful thing, man. The unity of brethren, which this is what's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, all right? And that curse in that Deuteronomy 28 is going to be, you know, gone. We're not going to be having evil eye towards one another. We're, we're going to be unified, okay? It says the love of neighbors, okay? Because right now... Uh, our people hate each other. That's going to go away. We're going to have love. And it says, And a man and a wife that agree together. That's what's coming. A man and a wife agreeing together. Okay? This is what's coming. This is what's coming for us. Alright? No more, as uh, even though Yashua mentioned it, no more battle of the sexes. No more of of the woman trying to you know. You know uh, uh, you know control you so to speak, all right. That's not happening. All right, this is what's gonna occur: a man and a woman are gonna join together, okay. Children are gonna co you know, uh, uh, co you know be brought forth, and we're gonna have a, a a nation. We're gonna build up a nation, okay. This is what's coming. You know, but it's going to be done in righteousness and it's going to be perfect. Okay. You see. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Let's get Sirach 26 and 14. This is Sirach 26 and uh, 14. And it reads, let me see if there's anything above that.
Yeah, let's just get 26 and 14. It says, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And that's what, what's going to happen. The Lord is going to um, put our women back in order. You know, they're not going to be fighting uh, against us. They're going to be obedient. Okay. They're, they're, they're going to have manners. Because right now our women really don't have manners. When you see these women out there who are loud, okay, obnoxious, clamorous, that, that, that that's a, a lack of class right there. See, we're 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 gonna um we're gonna uh, come out of this peon state of mind because that's really what this is. This is a peon state of mind, man. In this in this uh, world, in the world of Esau, okay, it's very low level. We're about to get you know, we're about to be on that that um, we're about to enter into the noble class, all right. Well, our people are going to have, you know, mannerism, you know, proper manners, okay? They're, they're, they're going to, um, you know, they're, they're going to be on point, okay, with, with the order. A lot of things are coming, man. We're going to be a very, uh, 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 the highest class, okay, out there, you know? It says here, a son and a loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and the Lord is going to give us that soon. All right. He's going to give us that soon. And it says, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. You see, you women, you're going to have your minds well instructed soon. Well, I'll say this because. Look, our minds are being instructed. OK, and it's by whom? Yahweh Shimei Yahweh Shai. OK, we're being guided and instructed right now. OK, on what to do. And you see, we're going to pass that on to you. And with that being said, the, 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 um, the kingdom is going to be glorious, okay? We're all going to benefit from it, you know, from the man to the woman to the children. We're all going to be doing good. See, unlike this society. See, because a woman, they'll get mad when they hear about a scripture like that. But I'll say this, look, you're already being instructed by another man, whether you uh, believe it or not. And that's Esau. He programs you, all right, you know, through the uh, through the school system. He programs you through the uh, um, uh, through movies and television programs. He programs you through the music. OK. He's teaching you how to be a, a, an animal. Okay, and, and and you all are going with it, and you're saying this is the way. It's cool to shake my ass. It's cool to be naked out here. It's cool for me to uh you know hop from guy to guy or hey within in this world nowadays girl to girl. It's cool for me to kill my children. You know, my body, my choice. It's cool for me not to worry about my the, the children that I do have. It's cool for me not to listen to a man. It's cool for me to be uh, independent. That's what's being taught right now. And like I said, in the kingdom, it's not happening, man. It's not happening. Okay? Let me see. It says, uh, a shame fast and faithful woman is a double grace. And her... Um... And her continent mind cannot be valued. All right, so a woman that's in order, she 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 basically has no value in the sense. When I say no value, you can't put a, a price on it. Okay, it's precious. Okay, you know. See, let me see if there's anything else in this uh, chapter. Just gonna kind of go through it real quick. That's pretty much it on that. Let's go to another um. Another scripture. Let's get Psalms uh, 127 and 3. Alright, let's get this Psalms 127 and 3. These scriptures, you know, have no particular order. Like I said, I wanted just to do a quick little, uh, quick little skillful adding. That was a, a good lesson, man. You know? It's a good lesson. This is, uh, oh, 127. This is Psalms 127 and 3. And it reads here. Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. Okay? And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Alright? 
You see, it children are a heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. All right, so, hey Amen. Children are a blessing. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can find that, cause I think there's a, uh, I think the, uh, there's another one. Let me see if I can find it. It's another one in Psalms. I don't think that's the one I was really looking for, but that's still a, a pretty good precept. Hold on, let me check something out real quick. Give me a second. Maybe that is the one. It's a lock in. But yeah, but children, um, they're a blessing, man. Okay? See, unlike this society, they teach you that it's a, a terrible thing to have. That's crazy. Hey, children, you know, help your enterprise. They help your, you know, your kingdom. They help your nation. All right? See, our people, they're, they're so low level. They, they don't know what the hell is going on. They're through. Hey man, they 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 you know, ate ate that fruit man, and they're just gone. And they don't even consider that the, the you know, the ways of this world are wrong, and that the ways of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai are right. They don't even consider it. They don't even care, you know. Terrible man. Okay. Um, oh, let me keep going. Verse five: Happy is the man. That hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies at the gate. So point B is happy is the man that has the quiver full of them. Happy is the man that has a lot of children. Simple as that. Okay? You know, and like I said, in this society, man, you can't even enjoy your children. Because I don't even say this. Let's just say you 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 know you you have a, a good relationship with your you know your wife and all that, you know. You know, in this modern day world, she can't even, you know, homeschool children because she's got to work too. Because you know of um, because you know the finances, you know for you know because you know our finances are messed up in this kingdom. All right, and with that being said, you got to what, you know, have them you know get raised basically by the state and in school. All right, and you can't even really enjoy your children. Majority of the time, they're with this with the system. It's terrible, man. All right, it's terrible. But let's get a uh, Sirach four, forty and nineteen it says children in the building of a city continue a man's name. You see, and this is why. Um, in the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be order and unification. Okay, because our kingdom is going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And it's just going to continue to expand forevermore. Okay? And your name is going to uh, is gonna continue to be pushed forth. Alright? You see? And ultimately, it's the Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. Because we're his children. And we're, we're going to keep, you know, you know ex expanding. And we're going to, you know, keep, you know, praising Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And, and do what we're supposed to do as a nation. Be that, that, that priesthood. You know? It says, but a blameless wife is counted above them both. All right. But that's, you know, pretty much it. But, uh, hey, you know, in the kingdom, we're not, we're not going to have to deal with this, man. All right. This madness that, you know, this madness that's, you know, being pushed forth now and this contention and all that. It's going to, it's going to cease. Okay. It's going to cease. And we're going to, um, we're going to really, uh, enjoy, you know, being with, you know, our families and, you know, our wives and you know, our children, and parents and all that, you know, it's going to be great in the kingdom. It, this kingdom, psh, man, it's got to go. All right, but that's pretty much it. Like I said, you know, hopefully this was a edifying lesson. You know, this was just a skillful adding. There's a couple precepts that came to mind when I was listening to this. All right, and with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.